doesn't get the Holy Ghost because he loves you. He loves you. Of course he loves you. But if you're going to let God, you're going to uh, uh, despise all of his riches and his goodness, you're just going to just do away with it? You're just going to ignore it? You're just going to say forget about it? And you think God, you say God loved you? That's why, why you think he's long suffering? Why do you think he's long suffering? He's long suffering because he wants you to be able to come to the point where you can get saved. He loves you because he's constantly showing you what you have to do to be saved. He loves you because he loves you. He loves you. Of course he loves you, but he hates sin. And except you repent and, your, and, 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 and confess your sins, you're going to die. And until you get that in your mind and do it, you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. Hallelujah. You're going to die. Or despises thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. Because God loved me, God gave his life for us. Because God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Because God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Just for you to walk around and talk about, I know Christ, or Christ is my personal savior. Just that easy. You think it's just that easy for God to just let you wash on up into heaven. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. Verse 5. He said, but after thy hardness and impotent heart treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. In other words, he's saying, y'all impotent heart, y'all have made it up in your mind, you're not going to repent. Y'all done made it up in your mind that you think you are so good that you don't have to do all of that. Y'all done made it up in your mind that I ain't got to go and get baptized in no Jesus name. Y'all done made it up in your mind that I can keep lying on my taxes because everybody doing it. Y'all done made it up in your mind that you can do all of these little sins and you think God going to overlook them. And God said all you doing is building up treasures for yourself for wrath. All you doing is putting money in the bank so when you come up for judgment, he said I'm going to condemn you to hell. All you doing is treasuring up evil. All you're doing is treasuring up wrath for yourself because you don't think every little sin that you did, you ain't got to repent. And you don't put it in your heart. He said, you don't put it in your, you don't made your heart decide, I don't have to repent for this. You done told yourself that God loves me. God loves me so much. He ain't going to send me to hell for lying. You're a lie. He is going to send you to hell for lying. You done made it up in your mind that God understand. God don't understand no sin, but that it's, it's got to be punished for evil. That's all God understands by sin. You're reading it for yourself. I hope you're reading it with me. Read it again. I want you to get this. He said, but after thy hardness and impotent in heart. Impotent heart meaning you done made up in your mind you're not going to repent. You done made up in your mind, I don't have to speak in tongues. You done made up in your mind because your pastor or your preacher done told you, you don't have to do all of this. And you read it. You read it for yourself and then you're still making up in your mind that you don't have to do. That means you're going to, you, all you're doing is building up, what he say? Your infinite heart treasures up unto thyself. You ain't doing it against nobody but yourself. You done treasures up for yourself wrath against the day of the wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. In other words, when you come up for judgment, God is saying you got a whole bank full of sin over here that you never repented for. Not to mention you never got the Holy Ghost. Not to mention you never got baptized. But you just treasure. Now he's, he's telling them that for a reason. We're going to see that in a second. He's telling, remember, he's talking to people that are saved. But he's letting them know, even if you walk around and you, and you say that you don't know how to be saved, you still got a problem. You still got a problem. Why? Because he, he's going to mention. I don't want to get ahead of myself because I keep talking. I'm going to tell you. I want you to read it, though. Verse 6. He said, who will render to every man according to his deed? According to your deed is what you're going to be rendered. According to what you did is how you're going to be rendered. Remember, some time ago we talked about over in um, um, Ezekiel, where they was asking God that he was unfair, and he said, if my father sinned, am I going to be punished for my father's sin? He said, no, you're going to be punished for your own sin. And we're going we're gonna to flash over there in a minute. But he said, you're going to be punished for your own sin, not for your father's sin. And nobody's going to be punished for nobody else's sin. You're going to be punished for your own sin. And then Paul over here said, who will render to every man according to his deed? According to your deed, whatever you did, that's how you're going to be punished. That's how you're going to be judged. That's how you're going to be reprimanded. Hallelujah. Verse 7, 
to them who by patient, continuous, and well done doing, seek for the glory and the honor and the immortality and eternal life with patience. In other words, people that want to be saved and people that are trying to live right, that, 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 that want to be holy and want to do what God is telling them to do, God is saying that we do it and we seek. We seek. Seek meaning that you're looking for. You know, I'm, 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 I'm always trying to find out, Lord, am I doing something wrong? Lord, did I lie today? Lord, did I do this? And every time I find something, I, oh, Lord, forgive me. I don't, I don't say, well, I didn't really do that. Every time something happened, I want to find out, Lord, help me to get over this sin, Lord. Help me to get it right, Lord. And then you got people that sin and don't think nothing of it. Oh, ain't no problem. Oh, they'll forgive me. Oh, Lord, they forgive me. Lord is love. He ain't going to send me to hell for that one, you know. And you go right out and do it. Oh, he ain't going to send me to hell for that one. All you're doing is building up wrath against yourself. But then on the other hand, you got us that's trying to live right. Every time we make a fall or a falter or a slip or do something we ain't got no business, we seeking, Lord, uh, Lord, please forgive me. We're down on our knees praying and asking for God forgiveness. And you think, I'm going to do all of this and make it to heaven, and you just going to live like the devil, and you're going to walk on up there with me. Now, anybody in their right mind know that that's not fair. That's not fair. You wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it with your own children. If you got one working hard and the other one lazy, the one that's working hard is going to be rewarded. The one that's lazy, you ain't going to give them nothing. And you think God going to turn around and do the total opposite of what in you that he put in you? And we're going we're gonna to see that. All of that's coming up. It's coming up in, the, in, this, in this very same chapter here. You think that you can do whatever you want to do, and God going to wink at it. You, you, that's just the biggest lie the devil ever put in your mind. God ain't going to wink at none of your, your sin. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What verse are we at? He said, to them be patient, continuous, and well doing. Seek for glory and honor. I'm seeking for glory and honor and immortality. Why? Because when I come up before God, I want to be made immortal. I want to have eternal life, and I'm seeking for that. Whatever it takes, Lord, I'm seeking. I'm not just sitting still, waiting to hear some preacher on the TV. I'm not just sitting still to somebody come and beg me to go to church. I'm not just sitting still and waiting for this particular preacher. He's the only one that knows the truth. I'm not waiting. I'm waiting for God to show me what must I do to be saved. I'm waiting to find out how to get to heaven. I'm seeking, I'm looking, I'm searching, and I'm doing it continually. I'm doing it every single waking moment of my life because I know that when I get through this life, I'm going to have eternal life. I know that when I get through with this journey, through this wilderness, through this pilgrimage, I'm going to see God face in peace. I, I, he only promised me 70 years I'm 42 now, so my years are counting, and I don't have to see 70. So, but this is only temporal. This is a temporary situation. Eternal life is forever. And you think I'm going to waste these few years for all eternity? What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What does it profit, y'all? 